Hello and welcome to Unite and Prosper, where we will not be divided or conquered. And while you're watching this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share, share, share. Court gives RFK Jr. green light to sue Biden Harris administration over censorship. Federal court rekindled hopes that this week uh, the Biden Harris administration could be held accountable over its efforts to have critics censoring the pandemic, ruling that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and Children's Health Defense, an organization he leads, have Article 3 standing to sue. The U.S. Supreme Court let the Democratic administration off the hook in June for its well-documented efforts to shut down critics of its COVID-19 policies and preferred narratives during the pandemic. Policies and narratives that have been shown in the years since that have been in many cases unfounded and or destructive. The court 6-3 ruling by Murphy versus Biden asserted that the states of Missouri and Louisiana, along with other plaintiffs, lacked standing to sue the Democratic administration. Although the plaintiffs in Murphy were ultimately tripped up, the decision Justice Samuel Alito indicated the country might come to regret. Barris had a companion case that still had legs. U.S. District Judge Terry A. Doughty of the Western District of Louisiana, whose injunctions the Supreme Court reversed in Murphy, gave Kennedy the green light Tuesday to run down the Democratic administration in the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit. The court finds that Kennedy is likely to succeed on his claim that suppression of content posted was caused by actions of government defendants, and there is a substantial risk that he will suffer similar injuries in the near future. In February, Dotty, a Trump-nominated judge, granted Kennedy an injunction blocking elements of the Biden-Harris administration, including the Center of Disease Control and Prevention and the FBI, for coercing the social media companies to engage in suppression or outright censorship of content containing free speech. Yeah, even me, a lot of people on Facebook, Twitter, yeah, a lot of censoring was going on during that time, not just them. Uh, this junction was, however, put on hold pending the Supreme Court's ruling. Following the Supreme Court June 26th decision, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals kicked the case back to the District Court, affording it an opportunity to reconsider Kennedy's standing, admitting also that he may have stronger grounds. With the ball back in his court, Dottie noted that Kennedy was identified as a member of so-called disinformation dozen. A lot more than a dozen were blocked and or were censored which uh, was made up of 12 individuals that the government specifically targeted for spreading alleged disinformation regarding COVID-19. Basically meaning, if you said something different than what the government was trying to say, you were censored. The judge indicated that elements of the Biden-Harris administration specifically targeted Kennedy. After all, he dared hold physicians contrary to government physicians on COVID-19, including mask mandates, vaccine mandates, vaccine injuries, lockdowns, etc. <clears throat> According to the judge, Kennedy's presidential candidacy and political ambitions put him at further risk for future injury, raising the hypothetical of the FBI working in concert with private and government outfits to censure campaign-related information deemed misinformation. Yeah, I know I've got a lot of those... Uh, misinformation stickers put over a lot of my posts online. Kim Mac Rosenberg, CHD General Counsel, told the defender in the statement, Judge Terry Dowdy carefully and clearly analyzed the law and facts and applied the framework from the U.S. Supreme Court recent decision in Murphy versus Missouri regarding standing. Great news, Children's Health Defense tweeted. This means the Biden-Harris administration may finally be held accountable for its censorship of us via big tech. We can only hope. 